This is an oversight hearing on climate change impacts on our energy infrastructure. Over the last four years, the world has witnessed through numerous tragedies the vulnerability of low-lying coastal regions to natural hazards, including, of course, the tragedy that happened in Burma last week. It's expected that within the next 50 years, we will see accelerated sea level rise, increased storm intensity, significant coastal erosion. The consequences of these events uh, should not be underestimated. As a nation, we've begun to consider mitigation efforts aimed at reducing greenhouse gas emissions, as it's now generally accepted that some level of climate change is occurring. While much of our attention has been focused on how our current mix of energy resources and technologies contributes to climate change, there has been little focus so far on how changes in climate will affect our current and future energy needs. I'm concerned that in many communities, facilities are being developed without adequate consideration of the potential costs of protecting or relocating them from sea level rise related erosion and flooding and storm damage. Much of our energy infrastructure has been built based on our knowledge of historical climate conditions. But since our climate is changing, energy infrastructures which are optimal today may not be in the future. The longevity of our infrastructure argues for us to look long term in the planning and design of new systems. Decisions made today for the creation of new infrastructure need to occur in ways that ensure that such infrastructure is robust enough to cope with or adapt to changing climate conditions. In the latest report that it issued, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change states it is very likely that we will see stronger, more destructive hurricanes and typhoons, accelerated sea level rise, and changing weather patterns in coming years. A significant portion of our nation's critical energy infrastructure is concentrated in coastal areas that are vulnerable to natural hazards and changes in climate. This infrastructure forms the heart of a nationally and globally interdependent energy system. Our own experience with the Gulf Coast hurricanes in 2005 demonstrated the vulnerability of our energy systems and the magnified nationwide effects that a localized disruption can create. Nearly a third of our nation's refining capacity was closed. That was in 2005. There was a significant loss of natural gas supplies in the Gulf of Mexico. The disruptions increased U.S. energy prices and threatened to create significant shortages of fuel for home heating and electric power generation in New England. There's clearly a need to consider how to incorporate future changes in environmental conditions as new infrastructure expansion plans are developed and implemented. So today we have, we'll hear testimony on what's needed to create a more resilient and adaptable infrastructure in response to the inevitable impacts and challenges that climate change will present. Uh, let me just uh, see if uh, Senator Craig uh, wished to make an opening statement before we go to the witnesses.